Hello, so good day grade 11 students. Our lesson for today is identifying the parameter to be tested given a real life problem. So, nasa second lesson na tayo ng uh, quarter 4. Okay, so let's start. So, what is a parameter? So, kung mga nakaraang lessons, nalaman natin na yung parameter is any numerical quantity that characterizes a given population or some of its aspect. This means the parameter tells us something about the whole population. No? So, kung yung parameter describe niya yung population, yung statistics naman, statistic naman is uh, describe niya yung sample. Okay. So, examples of parameters are the measures of central tendency. Kung maaalala pa natin, meron tayong mean, uh, median, and mood. No? So, in the normal distribution, there are two parameters that characterize uh, distribution, the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, so, bago ang lahat, bago natin i-identify yung parameter is dapat alam natin yung mga symbols na gagamitin natin sa pagsulat ng hypothesis. Okay, symbols used to denote parameters. Okay. So, yun. No? So, meron tayong mean, variance, standard deviation, and proportion. Kapag meron tayong sample mean, no? So, yung gagamitin natin is etong x bar para yun sa sample. Kapag sample variance naman is squared. Kapag standard deviation, s. Kapag proportion, p hat. No? So, yun yung mga gagamitin natin kapag sample yung pinag-uusapan. Pero, kapag parameter, kapag about sa population, so, eto yung gagamitin natin para sa population mean, the mu. Kapag variance naman is sigma squared. Kapag standard deviation is sigma. Kapag proportion is p. Proportion or percentage, so p yung gagamitin natin. Okay. Aside from that, meron din tayong mga symbols na kailangang malaman. So, kailan natin gagamitin yung equal sign? Gagamitin natin yon kapag yung hypothesis natin or yung parameter natin is merong mga word na equal to, the same as, not change from, is. So, eto yung gagamitin natin, yung equal sign. Kapag not equal sign naman yung gagamitin, dapat yung parameter natin or yung hypothesis is merong word na not equal, different from, not the same as. Kapag greater than naman, so take note sa mga words, meron tayong greater than, above, higher than, longer than, bigger than, increased. So, lahat ng to gagamitan natin ng uh, greater than symbol. Less than, below, lower than, smaller than, decreased, less than symbol naman yung gagamitin natin. So, dito tayo maghinay-hinay sa word na at least. Kapag at least yung ginamit na word, eto yung gagamitin nating symbol. Greater than or equal. Kapag at most naman, less than or equal. Okay, so how to identify the parameters to be tested? So first, you just need to look for the word mean or average, standard deviation, variance, and proportion of population. Ulitin ko, no? Dahil parameter, so dapat about sa population yung hinahanap natin, hindi about sa sample. Next is you need to determine the value that pertains to the parameter. Then translate them into symbols for hypothesis testing. Okay, so example. Example number one, uh, the average height of students in section empathy 
17 years and older is 167 cm for males. Ang una nating hanapin is yung kung meron bang word na mean or average. Kung titingnan natin, so meron, no? So average yung parameter natin. Ano yung value na nagpepertin sa average? Etong 167 cm, no? So meron tayong average and 167 cm. So, yun yung dalawang importante. Okay. So, paano natin isusulat yung parameters? Sasabihin natin, the average height of students is 167 cm. So, yun yung parameter natin. How to write that into symbol? So, eto yung symbol natin. So, first, meron tayong average. At yung symbol ng average is eto. For the population mean. Tapos, kung, kung iti-take note natin, gumamit ng word na is. No? So, is yung ginamit. Kung babalikan natin kanina, yung symbol ng is is equal sign. Okay? Kaya meron tayong equal. Tapos, yung value na nagpo-pertain sa height is 167. Okay. So, meron tayong mean equals 167. So, yung unit, hindi na natin kailangan isulat. No? Yung value na lang. So, yan na yung sagot natin. Ito na yung parameter natin. The mean equals 167. Example 2. A grade 11 researcher reported that the average allowance of senior high school students is 100. A sample of 40 students has mean allowance of 120. At alpha level is equal to 0.01 test, it was claimed that the students had allowance of 100. The standard deviation of the population is 50. Okay. So, kung mapapansin natin, maraming uh, numbers. So, hahanapin natin ngayon kung ano nga ba yung parameter natin. Yung value na nagdi-describe sa population. Una, meron tayong 100, tapos 40, tapos 120, alpha level of 0.01, 100, tapos standard deviation of the population is 50. Okay. So, yung parameter natin dito is, yung about sa population, yung nagdi-describe sa population is eto. The average allowance of senior high school students is 100. So, yan yung parameter natin. Yan yung tumutukoy sa population. Okay. So, gets? Bakit hindi pwede yung uh, 120? Kasi, yung 120, yun yung mean or yun yung average from the sample. Bali, yung 120 is statistic. Hindi siya parameter. No? Hindi din yung 50 kasi meron na tayong average. Okay, so in symbol, eto yung symbol niya. Kung isusulat natin into symbol, first, meron tayong average. So, kaya meron tayong population mean or mu. Tapos, yung ginamit na word dito is eto, s. Is. So, meron tayong equal sign. Tapos, yung value na nagpipertain sa average is 100. Kaya, meron tayong 100. Okay, gets na? Another example. Okay. So, according to a survey, 63% of the parents are willing to spend extra money for their children's health and education matters. So, dito... Ano nga ba yung given? Meron bang average? Okay, wala. How about standard deviation? Wala din. How about variance? Wala. How about proportion? Okay, meron. Proportion or percent. Percentage. So, meron tayong given na 63%. So, yun yung value na nagpepertin sa uh, parameter natin. So, yung parameter natin ay eto. 
So the percentage or the proportion of parents willing to spend extra money in their children's health and education matter is 63%. Okay, so nagkulang tayo. 63%. Okay, so yun yung parameter natin. So, in symbol, okay, P equals 0.63. Okay, first, bakit P? Kasi yung given natin is percentage uh, or proportion. So, hindi siya average, hindi siya standard deviation. Tapos, dahil yung word na ginamit is is, so, meron tayong equal sign. Yung percent, kinonvert natin into decimal, 0.63. Okay, so try natin sagutan to, no? Determine the parameter to be tested in each situation by writing your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Translate it into symbols. Okay, number one, the television habits of children were observed and found out that the standard deviation is 12.4 hours per week. Okay, so una, meron tayong word na standard deviation. Huh? Tapos, meron tayong is, tapos 12.4 na value. Okay, sa pagsulat ng uh, parameters, sasabihin natin, the standard deviation of children's television habit is 12.4 Okay, so yun yung parameter natin. No? So yun yung value na nagde-describe sa population. So, in symbol, yung standard deviation is sigma. Tapos, yung ginamit na word dito is is. So, meron tayong equal sign. Tapos, yung value is 12.4. Okay. Example number 2. A newspaper article stated that students in the country take an average of 4 years to finish their undergraduate degrees. Suppose that you believe that mean time is longer. You conducted survey on 49 students. The result obtained a sample mean of 5 with a sample standard deviation of 1.2. Okay. So, ang tanong, ano yung parameter natin dito? Ano yung number na nagdi-describe sa population. Okay. So, first, isa-isahin natin. Sample mean of 5 uh, with sample standard deviation of 1.2. So, dahil nga hindi sila parameter, hindi sila tumutukoy sa population, tumutukoy sila sa sample, so, hindi sila kasama. Hindi sila yung parameter natin. Statistic sila. Yung 14 students, siya yung sample size. So, meron na lang tayong 4 years. So, etong 4 years yung parameter natin. So, sasabihin natin that the average uh, time sulat natin the average time to finish an undergraduate degree or study is 4 years. Okay. So, yun yung parameter natin. At in symbol, dahil average, so mean or mu. Tapos, is yung ginamit, so equal sign. Tapos, for yung value, so meron tayong for. So, eto na yung sagot natin. Example number 3. 
Okay. I hope okay lang yung mga nakikinig. Hello grade 11. Okay, so continue tayo. According to Dole, registered nurses in government earn an average monthly salary of 9,700. For that same year, a survey was conducted on 41 registered nurses to determine if the mean salary is higher than the previous survey. The sample of a The sample average was 10,000 with a sample standard deviation of 2,500. Okay, so marami na namang numbers. So ulitin ko class no, na yung parameter is dapat tungkol sa population, hindi tungkol sa sample. Okay, so isa-isahin natin. The sample average was 10,000 and as, with a sample standard deviation of 2,500. Dahil nga itong mga value na to ay tumutukoy sa sample, so hindi sila yung pare- parameter. Tama? Okay, good. Okay, so 41 registered nurses, hindi din to kasi tumutukoy to sa nurses, ibig sabihin sa sample. So meron na lang tayong 9,700. So ibig sabihin, ah, uh, The average salary of uh, registered nurses in the government or in government is 9,700 pesos okay so ganyan natin isusulat yung uh, tawag nito yung parameter so in symbol average so mu is yung ginamit so equal sign 9,700 yung value so 9,700 okay So next is eto na. No? Records of the Department of Health revealed that 14.7% of the country's Filipino smokers have maintained their habit of smoking. Okay, so I hope may natutunan kayo sa lesson natin ngayon. Paki-comment na lang ng sagot niyo sa number 4. So thank you for watching. Disclaimer lang po, ah uh, Etong mga sample natin is taken from the module. So, hindi po ako yung gumawa ng mga problem na to. No? So, thank you for watching. God bless.